In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to model this uh, parametric disk, as you can see here, from Parametric Home. And I have just searched the uh, parametric design in Pinterest. And as you can see here, you can also find different angles of this desk. And here we have it. You can also use this tutorial to model something like this. So uh, the concept is really the same. And let's just uh, get started in Rhino. Uh, and then use Grasshopper to model the sections. So I'm going to give you a small tip uh, of how you can model this uh, fast and easy in Rhino and Grasshopper. So first of all, if I just delete everything uh, or hide this, and, and let's just zoom in, uh, what we want to do is to uh, use a technique which is called cage edit. So uh, always uh, think about this. A uh, great command you can use in Rhino is cage edit, and cage edit will help you to to deform uh, a 3D model. So what I can do is to assume that we have this section here, and we model this section. I'm going to first of all model this curve or section, and then extrude that. Uh, in the x or y direction, so I just make a solid, and then I use the cage edit to deform this with control points, and then I'm, I'm going to connect this to Grasshopper so uh, we can see the results and just play with the cage edit and uh, finish when we see that the Grasshopper results are interesting or are fine. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is to first of all just draw this, so let's just go to the front view. Okay, so we have to model this section and then uh, model the 3D uh, solid of that. So it's going to be easy. We can just simply draw a line up, then just bring this a little bit forward and come here. Maybe we just draw something like this. It doesn't really matter. I want to say that you can uh, control that. So let's just bring this a little bit up and then bring this down. Okay, let's just go forward here. I'm going to add a polyline here uh, by using the shift key. Okay, here we go. And another line, and then we just reach the end, and we're finished. Okay, we can explode that and simply join these sections together and go for curve and use this uh, curve control points from a polyline. So here we go. That's it. We can just delete this section. We will have that. You can also uh, work on that so you can have better results. Uh, we can also just simply uh, go here and join these three things and go for fillet corners and just use this as a fillet corner. So uh, that does, uh, that's not really important. The most important thing is to how to connect that to Grasshopper. So let's just join everything here and put the control points on. We can simply move this thing to bring it in a better height. And you can also work on those curves to have better results. So we go to the perspective section. And what we want to do, let me just rotate this so you can see that. And simply go to the solid and use the extrude post plan or curve. Let's just give this something like that. OK, so this is a simple. Uh, thing you can see is a really a simple extrusion, but let's just go to Grasshopper and bring this into Grasshopper. The most important thing is here we import this into Grasshopper as a BREP. Let's put the bifocals plugin so you can see this and hide that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to use a contour, so let's just go to intersection, mathematical, and a contour here. So the shape is this BREP. And the most important thing is that because I want to change this, assume that I just uh, change this height and I want to see the results near that. What I'm going to do is before I contour this, I'm going to move this. This is another technique you can always use to make an instance of that, maybe in, in the x direction. Let's just go to 250. OK. Let's turn this back. And what we want to do is to work with this. So we will, uh, let's just put, let's just do this. Uh, what we want to do is to contour this. 
the point which we want to start this it's going to be a box connected to this and then we can simply go to the surface and deconstruct that box and here we go go to the list item uh, and use this list item to extract the vertex just turn this off turn this off this is the vertex we want to start to contour this so this is the point the direction will be simply an x direction and the distance is the distance of this length so i'm going to again take an edge which is simply the first edge is zero that's fine let's just connect a number to this and we have this length so we can go to math divide divide this by maybe we need 12 sections and we can give this to the distance and as you can see we have uh, sections of that to have the end of this because you can see that there's not a curve at the end we can simply go at the distance and have the expression and say x minus 0.001 that means that i'm just decreasing a little bit of the distance between the sections and that will just strike the solid at the end so here we go we can turn this off and now we can simply uh, use a surface connect the surface to that and extrude that in the x direction exactly the same as the distance for that and we can copy that x minus 0, 0 0.1 to here so let's just do the factor i'm going to increase that <clears throat> and here we have this simple thing and you're going to say okay what is that that's uh, nothing uh, special but now what happens is that uh, something is going to emerge from this simple concept. I'm going to go to cage edit and use a bounding box. And let's just say that it's the system world, okay? And here we say the X point, the Y point, and the Z point. Okay, the X point, uh, we have three important uh, sections, the start, the middle, and the end. So I'm going to give this as three for X. The Y can be two because we simply need two points or two control points to control that, but you can also increase that, but two is fine. And the Z is in the Z direction, so four or five, I'm going to decrease that to four, so it's going to be easier. And okay, here we go, double click, and we have those control points. So let's just uh, work on these two control points here and bring them a little bit forward, okay. And you can see that this is going to change the results. I'm going to move these control points a little bit up so I can have a, a more height. Uh, we can also use this with a shift key, this, and scale this in the X direction to just increase the width of that. <clears throat> and so I guess that I have to bring that a little bit up. Again, to change this, we can go to these two control points, bring them a little bit forward. So we have a straight section here. So you can see this also here. It's going to be similar to that. And then we can also bring that a little bit back, maybe work on those two control points and scale them a little bit. And you can see that this is going to make that simple curve here as you can see here we have simple curve here and as you can see we have a little bit uh, more length here at the center so i'm going to do that easily by uh, using this control point and this control point and bring this a little bit forward you can see that this is going to do that and that's it so you can see how easy it is to produce that uh, to produce those curves and work on that solid so uh, I can again play with those control points and bring them forward to make a bigger difference between those sections again we can just control that uh, control points and give them up so we have more height and we can also uh, work on other things maybe these two control points are going down we want to bring this a little bit down something like that so uh, at the end we can bake that extrusion and we have the results and you can see that this is really easy uh, this is the fastest way you can model things because 
we are simply working on a solid and then intersecting that with sections and I'm going to use this technique in different tutorials and you can see here that how easy it is to produce that and then you can also produce that uh, bottom section so you can put those sections on it. So thank you for watching it. That was the tutorial for the uh, parametric table. Uh, leave a comment on this video and give your ideas, your opinion about this. How did you feel about it? Uh, is there anything you know or, or a way you think that maybe it's easier because there are for sure many ways that we can model this and thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. So thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time.